We have now filed four class action lawsuits against Twitter related to the horrific experiences that these employees have been put through. Um, Elon Musk has every day, it seems like, figured out a new way to trample on workers' rights. It changed from a strike to a demonstration, but we've been out there every day. Um, and then we filed a case um, on behalf of disabled employees. And one of our plaintiffs from that case, Dmitry Borodenko, was here. He'll speak with you briefly, too. Uh, work from home accommodation, which was particularly important for me. As a cancer survivor, I'm at additional risk from COVID because if I get COVID and my cancer returns, I can go back to chemo. And timing of going into cancer treatment is essential. It's basically a life or death situation. So. No, seriously, seriously. I would work so late and it would be all. I'm saying hello to Buying this company seems to have been a bit of a toy for Elon Musk, the richest man in the world, but there are people's lives at stake here. There are people's livelihoods. Real people were impacted by these decisions. Uh, it's very important for Elon Musk to realize that he may be the richest man, but he is not above the law, and the law in this case is clear. It was a great place to work up until, you know, February 3rd. <laughs> so, um, I mean, not February, but November 3rd. But anyway, so, you know, it changed overnight. I've been through other acquisitions. I've never seen anything like this. And, you know, we just want them to live up to the commitments that they made to us that gave us comfort in, like, staying with the company through the acquisition process. We did analyses of the data of who got laid off on November 4th and found that 57% of women were laid off while 47% of men were laid off. Um, and the statistical significance of those numbers is through the roof. This can't be explained by the fact that Musk said that he wanted to keep more engineering type positions because we analyzed it based on engineering type positions and the disparities between women and men were even more stark. More women engineers were let go than male engineers proportionally and uh, so we're feeling pretty strong about these claims of sex discrimination which is so unfortunate. No, it, it's despicable. Elon Musk, the richest man in the world, thinks he can walk all over workers' rights. We stand with the custodians. Um, and it's, uh, it's just shocking how he's been trying to interfere with workers organizing. We are going to stand up for workers, all types of workers, who have been victimized by Elon Musk's practices.